I, in this video, we're going to try and construct a Born Harbor cycle for magnesium chloride. So what I'd like you to do first of all, just pause the video and go through as many steps as you can do now for MGCL2. Then watch the video and I'll go through how to construct the full one and you can see any mistakes you may have made. So in MGCL2, our iron down here at the bottom, MgCl2, 2 plus and each of the Cl's is negative. And from our enthalpy of formation, we're going to have magnesium solid plus Cl2 gaseous. So first step, make magnesium a gas. Next step, we've got to turn our chlorine into our atoms. So magnesium gaseous plus 2Cl gaseous. Then we've got our first ionization energy of magnesium, Mg plus gaseous plus an electron plus 2Cl. Then got our second ionization energy of magnesium gaseous to 2e minus plus 2cl after that we then got our ionization energy oh sorry electron affinity of our chlorine and this will be times two because we've got two chlorines doing this to form mg2 plus plus 2Cl minus each gases. And then, all the way down to here, is our lattice enthalpy. So, a couple of tricky steps in here. First of all, we had to ionise twice the magnesium, because we're trying to form a 2 plus ion. So we've got first ionisation energy over here, first IE. Second I, the electron affinity of chlorine needed to be times by two, because we've got two chlorines. We've got the atomizations here and the formation there. And that is a born harbor cycle for MgCl2. I just forgot that that's solid there. Just get my state symbols on, what was important here. And in the next video, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to put some data on and we'll use the data to work out the lattice enthalpy.